day two. We got in a little late last night and I couldn't really see around here, but this place is beautiful. Got some toast. Nice early morning breakfast. Gotta get my bags now. We're on our way to Myanmar. We stopped at this local shop on our way to Myanmar. I stopped at this beautiful monument here and I pulled out the drone, took flight for about 20 seconds and got yelled at by security to bring it down. We're not allowed to fly a drone here, which uh, it sucks, but we're not going to be able to get this shot. I just wanted you guys to see it. It's not going to be in the drone. Actually, I'll, sh I'll show the clip of before it got taken down. It's not a good clip at all, but you guys can see what we're going through. That's it, right behind me. I guess you guys can enjoy it from the ground level. I really wanted you to enjoy it from above. It's about a four hour drive to get here to the border. We just got here, we're gonna try to cross. Are you guys ready? Departing from uh, Thailand now. So we have to fill out the departure card. All the paperwork is signed, we're ready to go through. We're here at the immigration office and we basically have to give our passport $10 and three uh, passport photos. Also recommended to take a picture of your passport with your cell phone in case your passport gets lost. You at least have a picture of it on your cell phone. We crossed the border and we're at Taki Lake and we are going walking through the market right now. We're waiting for our ride. Our ride has not arrived. So I think we're about to take a tut tut. If you guys don't know what a tut tut is, stay tuned because it's going to be insane. Alright, the guy just got here with the tut tut. We're about to hop in. Let's take a ride. Now, heading down to the hotel. We're here or what? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We could have walked. Nah, just kidding. No, no, no. No. <laughs> we checked into our hotel, and a few minutes after, the pastor comes and picks us up to take us to his home, where they prepared a wonderful dinner just for us. We got to Myanmar a few hours ago and they're upstairs doing the church conferences right now and I'm down here doing some porches of some kids. Check them out. He just wanted to watch his movie on his phone so he wasn't really trying to smile. Look at some of the shots I started off with. But I kept going, I kept going, I kept engaging with him, and I, I went until I got a smile. 
Today has been a long day. We traveled from Chiang Mai, about a four or five hour drive to the border of Myanmar, into a small city, I think it's pronounced Tachalik. The team gave some Bible studies and now they're going to buy sneakers for all of the kids. We're here with uh, Pastor Sowen at the shoe shop that he arranged for us to come and pick up 27 brand new pairs of shoes for his children's home uh, where he has 27 kids that he's been caring for for the last several years with no government funding, no assistance from the community. He's been doing this all on his own. We're gonna take them back uh, to his house. We're gonna wrap them in uh, gift wrapping paper and then each of the children are gonna get a brand new pair of shoes today. It's the first time they're, they're gonna receive this kind of a gift. As you can see behind me, the kids are trying on their brand new shoes. They're really excited to put them on. Let's check it out. Join us tomorrow as we travel about an hour outside of Chachalik to visit two small villages where they greet us with a beautiful dance. One of the local gentlemen cut me a bamboo stick right off the tree. I get chased by kids and I try some mystery meat. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can get all of these amazing videos as they come out.